Hello, this is SCB, and today we are doing the first part of a mod spotlight slash creepers instinct thing. So basically, this is um a mod that I'm going to be showing off to you guys, and then I'm going to blow stuff up to do with this mod. So um, it's called Huge Trees Are Huge. You may have seen it on some other channels. I think only one channel's done. It. I don't know, but you know. So here it is. Now, when you generate a world. <laughs> If you generate in a forest, um, yeah, so it just looks normal until, just keep flying, just keep flying, <coughs> just keep flying, what do we do? We fly, 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 fly. Okay, usually, massive trees would be spawning at this second, by the second, everywhere. But it seems it's not spawning, so I don't know. Okay, I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, here, I found one. Yep, sorry, that was a while. But yeah, so here is a massive tree, which you can find naturally spawning in the world. Um, these spawn everywhere. They're just like normal trees, except they don't quite spawn as often as normal trees do. Um, yeah, it's basically just a big tree, um, and if you dig inside it, it's hollowed out and there are torches inside, which is nice and neat. Well, most of it's hollowed out, not much of it, just a chunk too. But also, one of the best features of this mod is you can make your own huge trees, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, so first of all, you're going to need the essentials are obsidian. So I'm gonna need some obsidian if I can find it. Where the hell is the obsidian? Oh my god. I do a mod spotlight and I just can't find anything. It's so annoying. Um a sapling and bone meal. Now these three things are essential. So um so it's the same for all the trees if you want to make a large tree. So um to make it have any material at all, like any material in Minecraft that you can place down. So for now, just quickly, just to show it off, I'm going to put bricks on the bottom, cobblestone on the top, um, obsidian to show the game that this is actually, we're trying to make a huge tree, we're not trying to make anything else. Same with the sapling on top. And then you can wait to grow, for it to go grow, which takes ages, or you can just bone meal it. I'm bone mealing it in here. So see, look at that. That is amazing. This is a um, tree with a brick trunk because I put brick on the bottom and a cobblestone and some cobblestone leaves because I put cobblestone on the top. Now you don't actually have to do it with solid blocks. You can actually use it with like water and stuff which is kind of um, weird. So I'll show you guys that. Um, and water trees are a little bit weird so I'll just tell you that right now. So what you do if you want the water to be your leaves and you just go like this that, maybe put a cobblestone there. Put that there, you put the source block right on top of the trunk block, like that. <coughs> Sapling, bone meal, and it should make a giant tree with water that for some reason does not fall. Now, I don't know if it ever actually does fall, or if it just stays like, like this MC edited kind of tree thing forever, but you know, it's awesome, <laughs> awesome trees of water and stuff, and one of my favorite combinations, um, apart from netherrack and fire, which is pretty awesome, I have to say, would be, um, where is it, uh, TNT, I love TNT, I just got rid of my obsidian, how stupid is that, um, and, Bum, 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 bum. Cake. You can use cake. It's so amazing. It's not even funny. Okay, cake on top of TNT. Boom, obsidian. Oh, can't place blocks on top of. You have to do this. Shortcut way. Um. So I'm just gonna quickly do this, and then booyah. That, my friends, is what you call a TNT cake tree most amazing thing you will ever see 
in your whole life. Now, I'm just going to blow that thing up. <laughs> okay, so all of them are hollowed out. This one doesn't have torches in it because torches can't be placed on TNT, I guess. Um, and also, if you, like, put down something like rails, and not all of them are supported by, like, um, blocks underneath them, they will all just rain from the sky and will lag you out like hell. Another thing that will lag you out will be blowing a TNT tree up. So let's do that right now and go down to one frame per second and possibly make Minecraft run out of memory because I have quite a few background programs running right now. So, prepare to die, computer. Amen. And we have dropped down to two frames per second. Okay, that's, yeah, that's staying it pretty much. One to zero frames per second. And doesn't seem to be running out of memory, which is quite nice, I would say. Um, lots of void stuff down there, if you can see. I was pointing it to, to it just then, but I remember that this is a video. And, oh crap, I forgot, it's blowing up the cake! <laughs> it's blowing up the cake! That, yeah, that should all disappear. Yep, and here we go. That is the gigantic crater. Um, yeah. So, did you guys think that that was Creeper's Instincts? Because that was indeed definitely not Creeper's Instincts. I'm going to show you right now what Creeper's Instinct is going to be. Okay, so here we have just a regular giant... TNT tree, but with this one, you may find that it will be a little bit bigger, may I say. So, okay, that just lagged me out completely because of its sheer size. Um, I'll leave it for a surprise. And it, it is, wow. Like, <coughs> okay, I just spawned inside it. And this, my friend, is the massive TNT tree. Now, um, what I did simply in between two takes, oh crap, please don't tell me it ran out of memory. Okay, no it didn't. So what I did in between the two takes that I had was simply, um, went into the huge tree config, which, um, comes up when you install the mod, um, and turned massive trees onto true instead of false. And so now, instead of spawning, um, quite puny huge trees, it now spawns giant, massive trees instead of those tiny little cuties. And so what you can also do is create them. Now the only way to switch between them is to actually um, continue by changing the options. So you can't make a um, small tree and then directly after that make a big tree in Minecraft. You have to actually get out of Minecraft and change the options. But this, my friends, is Creeper's Instinct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this world onto a um, uh, multiplayer server, even though this mod doesn't work on multiplayer, and then blow this giant thing up. Make sure you are watching for part two of this mod spotlight. It is amazing. Oh, and very quickly, um, HD config, the um, configuration file, also um, allows you to um, stop it, stop the, um, fact that trees are hollowed out, you can actually make them so they're, um, solid. So yeah, there you go, that's all I need to cover, and I leave it to you. This, will this crash my server? Actually, okay, that was a stupid question, of course it's going to crash my server, but what is it going to do? Okay. How many times do you think is Lewis going to have to log in, re-log in, every time? The questions are up to you. Leave it in the comments so that we know you are active on our channel. Bye! Oh, I just so delete. Oh, I'm blabbering.